Knights also suffers from performance issues that range from amusing bugs to annoying hindrances, the most grave of which is the frame rate. Gotham Knights is one of the most technically broken games I've played this year. Performance issues, multiple crashes, and other bugs that unfortunately plagued my playthrough. Barely runs fully functional at the best of times. And if there isn't frame drops, then there's bugs. I'm talking about cars going 1000 miles an hour, cars popping out of literal thin air. My time in Gotham saw occasional crashes, disconnects during multiplayer sessions, and various bugs. The traversal across the city is severely impacted, causing dips into the low 20s across all machines. It moves so slowly, like it just moves so slowly and the frame rate's like stuttering around it. Oh no. On the Xbox Series X, it was rare to see a stable 30 FPS, especially when out in the open world or during cutscenes. And God forbid I ride on my motorcycle for any amount of time. It is one of the most poorly optimized games I have played since Cyberpunk 2077, and that is not an exaggeration. The biggest overall issue though, is just how bad the core controls of this game are. Here in Gotham, they are bad. Your character doesn't move quickly enough when you tell them to. It feels like there's input delay when you play. The animations are, they're, they're just very animated. I hate to use slower, because I don't know if that's right. It just felt less snappy. I couldn't just like go nuts on people with the same pacing that I could the Arkham game. You can't tell me people understand this engine when it doesn't seem that more than three people can engage at one time. Look in the background. These characters are stationary, waiting their turn, as it would seem. But how absurd does it look to have literally one, two, three, four of them just frozen in place? also empty like staggeringly mm. empty it's just empty and lifeless Prince and vision put the games side by side here and gotham knights just looks lifeless and that's actually literally true as well arkham knight was swarming with gangs of criminals feels pretty lifeless and when you do find npcs unfortunately the guy in a raincoat with an umbrella and glasses on and another one another one and i'll speed the footage up here and another one <laughs> And another one. Gotham Knights is so devoid of life by comparison that I could drive around for minutes without spotting anything other than the occasional civilian. Good old frame rate drops, meaning that the 30 FPS target that created the online stir is an at best scenario across all three consoles. I, I just wanted more. Something more fun to play moment to moment. Something without the cynical grind game design. What did you just say? Time for another round. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, beta testers. Gotham Knights is bafflingly bad. An eight year old game somehow bodies this thing. And everything that I showed, of course didn't get ironed out the way everybody thought it might in a early build voice acting still cheap like they use the worst takes y ubisoft ai honestly that's an insult to ubisoft the ui is worse it's mobile game tier living la vida loca is not even the cringiest thing in here because this game's writing went like full forespoken but we can't talk about the writing because WB Montreal really thought that this unoriginal Batman Lazarus Pit stuff was M. Night Shyamalan tier. You better keep them spoilers. Hush, hush. Nobody's going to see this coming. You know what I mean? Facial animations on every hero somehow voiced in the way that Batman looked in the beginning of the game. <laughs> Things as common as gliding with a cape are locked until you complete monotonous missions with each bat family hero it's not enough to do it once you got to do it once and then three more times you already know it's not even scratching the surface but the shills will scrape the bottom of the barrel looking for anything to praise about this objective garbage like the paid was they are everyone's entitled to their guilty pleasures but there's no make your own opinion or experience it for yourself with this 70 dollar next gen only no crossplay having struggling to maintain 30 fps in single player six hour campaign having monotonous bore of a video game 
following the deliberate withholding of frame rate information that they knew might influence whether or not people would even want to buy their game, it's clear this game doesn't deserve support. It's destined for the bargain bin, and that's when people should be considering getting it. I don't expect the shills to stop celebrating and cheerleading for this thing, but I do expect people to start pre-ordering much less. As if games like Avengers and Fallout 76 and Saints Row weren't a blow enough to this industry. Another prophecy come to pass, Gotham Knights is Avengers 2.0. It's calling the developers of this mediocre, overpriced, used tampon lazy, an inflammatory action that can be likened to clickbaiting since I honestly don't mean the word lazy. Sure, I'll tell you the word that I do mean though. And sorry, I just see WB Montreal deceiving people <laughs> out of close to a hundred dollars. So I just thought, man, I want to try that. Sorry, my method didn't really cost anybody as much money as you guys were charging lying to them. Oh man, I'll do better next time. The word that I'd use is amateur. The words uninspired, unfinished, and slow imply that this could be better faster or that you could be inspired and finish this. I know that you can't, because this has no real finishing. The sad and most important realization to come to with Gotham Knights is the same one that people had to come to with Avengers. This game could have triple the staff and triple the budget right now and still not turn into anything. It lacks creative vision. A beautiful case, but there's nothing inside. Six hour campaign? Okay tedious and monotonous busy work to break up what might resemble a DLC? Hey, deceptive practices like hiding what you know will change people's minds, but worst of all, preying on these impressionable shills who honestly don't know better than to go to bat for your stupid ass. They're lonely and have nothing else going on. It's not that big a deal. A patch will fix it. It's not game breaking. Arkham was at 30 FPS. Bitch, that was eight years ago on an inferior engine that objectively looks better than Gotham Knights does today. Why are you even bringing up Arkham? The terms that I kept hearing in everyone's reviews were slow, pointless, filler, lifeless, empty, unresponsive, dated. I remember consistently hearing Gotham Knights is trying to be Arkham and that's his greatest strength. But that's just the thing. People didn't like the Arkham series. They loved it. Incredible combat. Took itself way too seriously so we could be the ones to make fun. Guys and girls could be sexy. Everything that would make money from players, collectors, and fans. Gotham Knights is worse. In 2022, and it makes me worried about what could be another game by woke developers well past the studio's prime. It happened with Saints Row. Multiverses gave Harley the animated suit. But we gotta wonder if if Rocksteady's gonna allow us to have a, a cute Harley. Is that so much to ask? I don't know why we can't have pretty women just because some of you developers are like Roger if you don't get out of here I'm so scared Roger please get please oh my god she's still standing here with her ass and it's disgusting I want man ass oh, oh Roger please <laughs>